Omaha, Omaha. We got an audible. My students decided that we should go with our favorite game from last year as our third substitute game. Stay tuned for Cone Flip Mixer. Uh. Yeah. So here's a few helpful tips to help you with cone flip mixer. Number one, have the students make sure to flip the cone inside of the hula hoop or within one arm length for it to count. That helps keep them seated and kind of staying in their general area. Number two, make sure students don't throw the cone too high. I'm six foot tall and I say anything higher than my head does not count. Um, if not, they'll be tossing it super high and you don't want that. Number three, stress shaking hands or fist bumping after they have completed a uh, successful flip. And number four, make sure that the person that doesn't win the flip jogs one full lap and then find somebody that's raising their hand. <laughs> 